This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome to the new tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be creating level and XP system. So first, uh, we're gonna start by creating an interface and in the second episode, we're gonna be creating uh, functions. So right now we're just gonna set up everything. So in the second episode, we can just start creating it. Uh, and I don't want to make uh, big episodes that are going to be 40 minutes long. So, first we're going to create a user interface, create user widget, call it VB level XP. Open it up, and we can add canvas panel. And we're going to start by creating vertical box. There goes vertical box and inside of the ver vertical box we're gonna create two horizontal ones but we will create horizontal box and then inside of that horizontal box we're gonna create one more horizontal box uh, also we're gonna add progress bar and we're gonna set it to vertical box just like that perfect so first we're gonna add text to our horizontal box and this is gonna be our level text uh, so let's go ahead and put it before the horizontal box first one uh, put level for example level 4 like that and here we're gonna text three times add text so the first text is gonna be current XP and the text block is gonna be like that you can add spaces so this is gonna be our divider the second text and this is gonna be our required XP like that so here we have a size of our vertical box can be like that I like that uh, and here current XP let's oh we can change it here sorry current XP text block and required XP text block the reason I cut videos is because I have so much uh, noise in the background from my family so I don't want to annoy you with that uh, we can make font a little bit smaller like for example 14 and here as well 14 and here as well, as well and if we select it and make it to go to the middle that's perfect and we can go uh, and make our horizontal box the second one align it to there and that's gonna be perfect level uh, we can keep it like that or maybe like this to make it a little bit cleaner we can uh, pad it by 10 from the left and we can also pad our horizontal box from the right by 10 or yeah that could be good so now vertical box I really want to put her in the right top corner so you can just do it by selecting it if I could select it if I could yes like that <laughs> and put it like that so we have our uh, UI here let's add it to our viewport so go to the third person character or whenever you, wherever you want to put it you can put it in game mode blueprint uh, level blueprint whatever you want but here is the easiest way so we don't have to cast to our character so we can just sequence we make sequence we use sequence so we can fire more um, actions from our begin play and we're gonna create widget here select level XP and by selecting level XP we can promote it to variable and call it VB level XP ref and add to viewport 
perfect. Compile and save. And now we can see we have our UI working. Uh, can make full screen. As you can see, we have current XP there, required XP. And now we need to create variables. So in this episode, we said we're going to be creating variables. So we have it ready for uh, the second part. So we will create current XP, make it as a float. And we will create, uh, we will copy it and create required XP. Also make it as a float because the float is decimal numbers and also it's good for the percent bar that we progress bar that we're gonna do. And we are add a new one and call it current level. So make it as an integer. Also, to update our progress bar, we're gonna create event dispatcher and call it update progress bar or level progress bar dispatch. So we have our dispatcher there. So how are we gonna call this dispatcher? Is simply by uh, selecting dispatcher and binding it. And we're gonna bind it to begin play. And our event, we're gonna create custom event here. Call it update level bar, level progress bar. And from there, we're gonna get current XP and get required XP. And we're gonna divide this to so we can get our percentage in progress bar. And now we're gonna go to our level. Make sure our level progress bar here is set as a variable and it is. Let's rename it to level progress bar. And now we can uh, get it by uh, using reference to our widget blueprint and getting level progress bar. And here we're just gonna set percent. So in percent is gonna be the result of dividing our current XP with required. And that works like this now. We're gonna use these event dispatchers when we create functions like, uh, like add XP, but uh, we're gonna create that in the second episode. For now, we're just gonna set up everything. Uh, so that works. Uh, level, we're gonna bind it, create binding. And that's gonna be our character reference here, but we need to get character reference from this widget blueprint. So from the event construct, when the game starts, before the game starts, we're gonna cast to uh, our uh, third person character or whatever character you have in your project. So we get player character. And from a third person character, we're gonna promote it to variable and call it character reference. Just like that. So before casting, before we cast a, a big cast, we cast a third person character, we can access all of this in our blueprint. So now if we go to our text for our current level, we're gonna make this current level textbook. We want our UI to look like this. So it says level and then the number. So we're gonna create this right now, get our character reference, get current level. And here we will format the text. So we want to say level and then the number. So we can just make curly brackets and put whatever we want inside of them. So you can put any text here, but make sure you close it with uh, curly brackets. And now it's gonna show us the current level. Let's just set up the current level in our third person character blueprint. Current uh, XP is gonna be zero. A required XP for the level one should be like 50. And the current level is gonna be one. That's what we want our player to start with. So there we go, we have this, uh, but that's only our level. Now we need current XP. So current XP text block, required XP text block. We can set both as a variable. We can set this one as a variable as well. So current XP, get current XP. It's very easy. We will do it just like we did level. From character reference, we're gonna get current XP and we're gonna format it into the text. 
and call it current XP inside of the curly brackets so we get another node and here we can set it like that. So now we need required XP as well. Create binding. We will get our character reference again. Get required XP. And format text. Here we also put it into the curly brackets. And that's done. That's how it should be. So now if we go and test. You can see we have numbers here. It's progress bar. Maybe too big one. We can easily make it smaller. Like that. And we can test this by setting our current XP to like something like 1000 and required XP to something like 5000 or 50. And as you can see, sorry, if we press there, play, we can see our level 1 and our experience. Uh, also, I want to you can make uh, make it to it says XP before, so we can easily just do it like uh, into our current XP, and uh, here I can say XP. So if we go ahead now, you will see it. We have XP, and we have our level, but we cannot add XP right now because we don't have functions for it, and also we cannot update our stamina. Uh, I, sorry, not stamina, our level bar, uh, because we didn't create any functions that's gonna call our dispatcher. So, in the next episode, we're gonna create just that, so stay tuned, because the same episode is going uh, live same day as this one. So, thank you for watching, and see you in the next part. Bye!